are good friends of Eric Bogosian, so we're here to support him. And um, and I can't, I've just heard great things about the show in general, so I can't wait to see it. It's the most fantastic cast, and it's so exciting to see a new play on Broadway. I just love Laura Linney. Not to point out anybody in particular, but I think she's great. And Donald Margulies, I did a piece of his years ago up at uh, Williamstown Theatre Festival, and I just love his writing. I just love it, so I'm really looking forward to it. I love Donald Margulies. I love this, all of these actors, seeing yeah. them, you know, in a, and I, I love the MTC, so seeing another uh, one of their Broadway offerings is good for me. I really don't know anything. I haven't read the play. I'm really excited to see it. I like going into a theater not knowing what to expect, not knowing anything at all. I think it's kind of the best way to go, actually. I've heard such wonderful things about the play, and I love his writing so much, and I love Dan Sullivan and, and everything he directs, and I love Laura Linney. Um, so there's a lot to look forward to. That poor little boy. Maybe if she took him to the hospital instead of taking his no, picture. There were, there were rescue workers yeah. for that. How could you just stand there? I wasn't just standing there. The boy was dying. He was dying. The boy no. would have died no matter what I did. And I wouldn't have gotten the picture. You could have been helping them. I was helping them. Time Stand Still is essentially a love story about two journalists. One is a photojournalist played by Laura Linney, and Brian Darcy James plays a character named Jamie. And they have traveled the world together covering conflicts. Uh, when the play begins, James is bringing her home uh, from a traumatic injury. Now we're back home navigating the waters of wh what our life is like uh, out of that world and uh, a more quote unquote normal world, um, at least not in the line of fire. So it's really about, uh, about them trying to figure out how they feel about their work and their vocation, facing the possibility of maybe leaving that world and how they how they react to that and their, and their needs and desires. That really sort of deals with when when someone has a vocation, when someone is passionately connected to something larger than themselves and that is their focus and that is their passion, what does that do to relationships? This play is very rich with all sorts of character interactions and, and subtexts so uh, What's nice about it is we get we get to keep growing with it with every performance, and that's it's really wonderful. It's also very funny and very dramatic. So, I personally like to be able to do both things. I love this cast. These uh, Laura and Brian and Eric. It's just it's silly how much we all really like each other and how warm and professional and uh, it just is so stimulating the whole thing. They're like a great jazz ensemble. There are a lot of overlaps written into the script and they have been so precise about them. Uh, it's music to my ears, literally. But Dan Sullivan also is like a great conductor. He really knows how to modulate those moments so that it doesn't become a wash of sound. You know, I, I would do anything in the world for Dan Sullivan. And, and when they called and asked me to do this, and he was talking about cast, and I was like, whoever you want. <laughs> I was like, oh, you, know, you know this play better than I do. You know actors almost better than anyone on the planet. Whoever you want in this play, I will be happy, 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 happy to work with. So it's been a joy. I love working on Broadway. I just love it so much. There's nothing better. I can't imagine anything better, you know? No matter how exhausted you are, no matter how hard you've been working, it's still just, you're so filled with inspiration and excitement. Donald has written something that's got many, many levels to it and, and, and done it so seamlessly that you don't even notice. You're just watching a story go along and, and you get pulled in these rather deep waters. I liked it a lot. What I love about this play is that there's, there's so many uh, ideas that are bouncing around and I think because the four characters are so unique and have such unique perspectives on the subject matter that there's always going to be someone to relate to, whether you agree with you know, my character or, or Laura's character or Richard, uh, Eric's character, etc. There's, there's going to be something that you're going to latch on to. There's something to talk about inevitably, which I think is a great thing.